Torres del Paine National Park in southern Chile has seen a steady increase in the number of wild pumas for the past several years. Although people had more encounters and sightings of these felines, pumas in this region of southern Patagonia have remained largely secretive and solitary. The puma has many names, so depending on which part of the New World is describing it, the words panther, cougar, mountain lion, and even puma are all describing the puma con color. A member of the family Felidae, a full-grown tom is comparable in size to a male South American jaguar. The puma ranges from the Canadian Yukon to southern Patagonia. Their ability to adapt to different environments has allowed the puma to thrive in habitats including mountainous deserts, riverbeds, and scrublands. Puma families also live in Torres del Paine. December to March is breeding season in Puma country. After giving birth, the female becomes the sole caretaker of kits. This is Sarmiento and her three four-month-old kits. Because their future diet consists mostly of meat, they are taught early on that guanacos can be a major food source. Puma moms make sure that their kits can adapt to changes. Their ability to adapt to change is crucial to their chances of survival. Pumas can hunt day or night. In order to feed her kids, our puma mom sets out at dusk and hunts until dawn. Once the puma kids are weaned from mom's milk, their preferred diet consists mostly of solid food. They stay with their mom for up to a year. However, this timing will vary. Depending upon the puma kid's skill at hunting for its own prey, and on the mom's biological tendency to come into heat. Although the puma is a huge draw for tourism, Torres del Paine has so much more to offer. Everywhere you look is a postcard waiting to happen. One such place is called La Ventana, from this vantage point, you can view 360 degrees of breathtaking landscapes. The vistas alone makes Torres del Paine a photographer's or videographer's ideal workshop. An amazing amount of wildlife live here as well. Freya and Guanaco dot the landscape. Waterfowl can be seen along its rivers and lakes, while rare avian hunters perch on trees in between takeoffs. And of course, the Andean condor has the privilege of soaring above this magnificent landscape. As beautiful as Torres del Paine is, it is also perfect puma habitat. Torres del Paine supports keystone prey species that give nourishment not just to the puma, but to the smaller mammals as well. Although the puma will consume smaller mammals, its main prey is the guanaco. Related to camels, the guanaco is the wild ancestor of the llama. Standing at almost 4 feet at the shoulders and weighing in at roughly 200 pounds, the guanaco is a formidable prey species. The guanaco escapes most puma attempts to kill it. They do put up a fight. And like most prey species, they call amongst each other to alert for predators lurking around the corner.
but the puma is a superb ambush predator. It uses its stealth, strength, and quickness to take a guanaco down. Having one of the stronger bite forces amongst carnivores, the puma can take down prey quickly and efficiently. A beneficiary of leftover puma kilts is the Andean condor. With a wingspan of up to 11 feet, the Andean condor is one of the largest birds of prey in South America. They are nature's cleanup crew. As carrion eaters, Andean condors consume organisms in dead and decaying animals. They protect the delicate ecosystem of Torresil Pine by ridding the area of detritus that is harmful to both humans and the environment. The puma reigns supreme in this part of southern Patagonia. It is the keystone predator at the heart of Torresil Pine. The puma can massively influence the ecology of the area. And, hopefully, with a little help from us, the vibrant biodiversity of this ecosystem will benefit all of its species for the foreseeable future.